Here's a codec for Premiere Pro, it's called Turbo Cut. Let's install it. I accept the license and next. It has the license manager and the codec itself. Okay, so these are the two components. Let's click next. Pending system reboot, everything is green, is checked, whatever. Next. Okay, the program is installing and it's finalized. Click on close. Okay, here we have the license manager. It requires an internet connection, so the firewall has to be allowed. Okay, and here I also have a, an older version, a serial number. Okay, and let's use the newer serial number for the newer version. I'm copying it and I cannot remove it from here, the old one. So let's click on add license paste in the new license code and I understand install license click on that button license has been successfully installed okay select the old license just in case you have one and details and from here you can delete the old license I understand and remove okay so one single license is installed let's close these and here we have some settings, another icon from the program and GPU acceleration is enabled. Okay, now let's start the program itself, Adobe Premiere Pro, it's version 2020. I already have a project here, let's open that one. Click inside the timeline here, okay, and then go to File, Export Media. File, export media and on this window let's resize it as format we have the codex we have the original HAVC of Adobe okay and we have the Synergy HAVC that we just installed so select that one here we have the settings for audio let's increase that one a little bit and for video so it's a 4K resolution at 30, almost 30 frames per second. That's the bitrate goes really high. Let's just restore it to 36. Okay, and from here we can use a different file name if we want. That's fine, and just click on save. And click on the export button. Okay, it's trying to render, but it will generate an error message. If you can see in Test Manager that the CPU and GPU usage is pretty low. Here's the error message, error compiling movie. And this is because I use a screen recording while I was rendering. So don't use screen recordings while rendering with this codec. Okay, now I stopped my fast on capture screen capture program. Let's close it and let's try to render once again. Export. Do you want to overwrite? Replace? Yes. Now the numbers are moving. And if you take a look at Task Manager, now we have much more CPU usage and GPU usage. So with screen capture started, the rendering cannot be done. Only 2 minutes, not 20 minutes or not 2 hours remaining so let's try to render not with the Synergy HAVC codec but with the default codec HAVC of Premiere Pro the other programs said 4 minutes this jumps to 6, 7, something like that 13, 14% and 90, 96% that's with the default codec HAVC of Adobe Premiere Pro and it requires 6 minutes and it's still not finished CPU usage dropped, now it's combining the files I think now it's top 6 minutes and 52 seconds now let's do the same thing but with the other codec Synergy HAVC codec Export. Here the CPU usage is lower, it's not close to 100%, but the GPU usage is higher. This required much less, 2 minutes and something. 2 minutes and 44 seconds. 
the five sizes, those two are highly similar also. 